Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com. Thinking again about the article I was doing on sensor size and what we could expect to see in resolution and megapixels in sensors, uh, what we could do now, what we can expect to see coming soon in the next, uh, and then again further out in the next three years, say. Um, a really interesting viewer comment on that, and we have here John M is the YouTube username, and John writes in and says, uh, there's a point in pixel pitch of diminishing returns. With the number of people wanting to view their photos at 100% on a screen, I doubt manufacturers will want those people looking at junk pixels. I think the RX100's pitch is the limit of acceptable. That puts full frame at about 120 megapixels. No way it'll happen in three years. Computers and software wouldn't allow it. By the way, other than cropping, I don't see too much advantage. In fact, it would just take up crazy amounts of space. So what John's saying is, is that with current technology, um, he thinks the ARCS 100's pitch is the perfect balance, or as he says, the limit of acceptable on how many megapixels you can cram in and still get good returns on that. In other words, it's a good balance between the amount of megapixels and still getting good quality imagery, both in photo and video. So he's saying that that extrapolates out to 120 megapixels to full frame. If you're considering the same tech that made a 20 megapixel one inch sensor, that therefore you could put using that same established tech, you could make a 120 megapixel full frame sensor. Now, he's also saying he doesn't think it'll happen in three years. He thinks that computers and software wouldn't allow it. And I guess the flip side of that is we go back to buffers and processors. And also, he doesn't see an advantage in it. But what do you guys think? Do you think um, do you think the RX100 is, is, is as, as John says, the limit of acceptable? I think it is. I think that's a good benchmark. It certainly performs very well. We're talking about the Mark V here. Um, do you think that it won't happen in three years seeing a 120 megapixel full frame sensor? I think it will. I mean, Canon's already got the 5DSR at 50 and Sony's already doing good things with 42. So yeah, I do think it will. Um, but that's me. And then is there an advantage though? Cause that's a very pertinent point as well. Do you see an advantage to even having that? I mean, I don't think everybody's run out and bought a 5DS or a 5DSR. Conversely, everybody's not running out buying an A7R too. A lot of people are happy with the A7 or the A7S and getting better low light. What do you guys think? What's your thoughts on these? Um, what do you think is possible? Do you think there's any advantage to it? And are you interested? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for your feedback, John. Some very interesting um, stuff to think about here. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.